If I've learned anything from the beauty of my Tartan doll collection, it's that inspiration can strike you from strange places. Keith Richards was much the same way. We're going to go over the song that taught Keith Richards to play guitar. He's played this and noted this in several interviews, talks about it to great extent, and his excellent autobiography that I recommend everybody check out. And I had to bring my man Classical Kyle in to teach this incredible tune and maybe inspire the masses just as it has inspired Keith Richards. Uh, yes, yes. So the Malagueña is a Spanish-style song. It can really be uh, any any type of melody. It's more of a style than it is a specific song, but I'm going to show you a very simple and very popular uh, Malagueña on the, on the guitar here. And so while he does that, I'm going to be holding a Spanish guitar because it makes me feel it's more It's very important yes, that thank one you. is uh -huh. at least held somewhere exactly. in yeah. the video. It's, mm -hmm. This is of the utmost importance. So what does it sound like? Well, first, it sounds like this. Oh, classical Kyle. You really did it there. Mm. It's, a very, it's a very simple little melody. It's very fun, too. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to base uh, this melody around two chords. The E chord, so I've got my middle finger, second fret of the D string, uh, index finger, first fret of the G string. And the second chord is an A minor. I'm just going to move this down a string to the um, middle fingers going on the second fret of the G string. Uh, index fingers going on the first fret of the B string. So it's here to here. I'm going to move around a little bit, but that's kind of the skeleton. Now, the most important part of this tune is the melody. So we're going to play up the uh, this E major arpeggio with our thumb in our right hand. So it's going to look like this. One more time. DGB with the thumb. Mm -hmm. DGB with the thumb. So, we have this so far. At this point, we're going to move to our little A minor chord. All I'm doing is kind of going up and down that, uh, that little A minor scale. So I'm going 2nd fret G string, 1st fret B string, open B string, back to 2nd fret G string, open G string, 3rd fret D string, and then back to my E on the 2nd fret of the D string. Simple melody. Very simple melody. Mm -hmm. So just the melody alone will sound like this. But I feel like there's something missing. Classical. I know we're not we're not quite done yet. Oh. We're gonna add a high E in between each one of those notes. Seems easy enough. Yeah. So after every thumb stroke, you're going to hit an open E. Now I'm doing this with my middle finger, but you can do this with your index finger or your ring finger. Right. Proper positioning is very important when it comes mm -hmm. to classical guitar. Mm -hmm. In fact, we made an entire class called Fingerstyle Guitar did. for Beginners. That goes through in painstakingly sexy detail yes. how, to, how, to, how to get yes. your technique down. Mm -hmm. We teach a bunch of songs too, so check that out in the description. But right now, Kyle's gonna throw the fire on it. Yeah. So between each one of these notes, we've got this open E string. What I would do first is practice the melody on its own and then put the E's in between once you've got the melody down. Nice. Once you have the melody in the thumb, it's very easy to put the, the, the high E in between them. And then the most important part is whenever you finish it, you just take that A minor chord. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's very important like you that. come back. Uh, that's it, huh? Use your fingers in a way that, that seems impressive. Oh, man. That's <laughs> probably the most important part of the lesson. Just end it. And that's it. And it's a very easy little melody. And if you want to play it really fast, you can impress all of your friends. Really? You can. How does that work? Whew. Cool me down, classical <laughs> Kyle. Amazing. Yeah. So I can see why that inspired Keith Richards to play. Yes. You know? mm -hmm. Again, I think uh, it was his grandfather that kind of had like a guitar and like a sacred spot hanging mm -hmm. on the wall. And he finally got it down and 
Connor to play Malaguena, and it really changed his life and launched the careers of one of the great iconic mm-hmm. guitarists yes, of all time. So mm-hmm. get it under your belt, uh, impress people, remember the finishing, mm-hmm. flourishing touch. Yes, always the flourishing You, you, you could do E minor. Ooh, good. And then to the A minor. Yeah. yeah, that makes me feel very Malaguena mm-hmm. in, my, in my heart and in my soul. Mm-hmm. I so, always feel that way. Oh, yeah, I know you do. That's why you're classical Kyle. So thanks for checking it out. Uh, please consider taking the mesh class if you want to learn some, some cool fingerstyle stuff from a legit professor and also me. Oh. <laughs> and let us know what you think in the comment section, Instagram, Twitter, the website. <laughs>